to this is Kitty the Messy Soaper and I am coming today with another soap. Uh, before I get started I want to do my shout out right off the bat. Uh, my shout out is going to be to Doll Face Boutique. You guys have to go check her out. She is such an awesome person. I met her actually through Diana of Dandy, uh, Dandy Creations and uh, she is like super duper funny and she she's been soaping I believe for eight years or a little over eight years or something to that extent I don't want to mess that up but I believe it's over eight years and she uh, she can tell you quite a few things that even I don't know so I've been learning a lot from her as well so um, she she has a great sense of humor she makes cool soaps and she does fragrance fragrance testing for indigo fragrance company she doesn't own it but she is a tester so if you do purchase fragrance oils from them you should go check out her channel because she uh well you know what the performance of that fragrance is before you even get started and she has like the coolest tattoos so <laughs> go check out her channel uh hi doll face i love you so much i enjoy chatting with you and i think you're totally awesome Mwah. so most definitely go check her out and tell her i said hi give her some love show her as much support as you guys have given me all right, so um, I show you guys my uh, fragrance oil haul, and um, I am going to, I was going to make blueberry today, but I decided that I just could not wait, and I am going to do the cherry lemonade from Southern Sensations. I don't know if this is going to accelerate. I don't know anything, but you know how I am, so we're all going to find out together. <laughs> Alright, so I already have my uh, milks and clays and aloe vera juice and other fun stuff mixed in here. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a short blast. Alright, now I'm going to add my lye water. And uh, I'll show you guys in a second the colors that I am using. Um, I guess I'm going to mimic... Um, cherry lemonade so I'm going to use some pinks and some reds and also this red this is a true true red and I got this from a uh, Jen of New York soap making supply company um, I'll put that in the link below as well as doll face boutiques company too and um, go there because she has a great price on it. It sells out fast. So if you want some, whenever she gets it back in stock, you better jump on it because it does sell out really, really fast. Because it's not very many companies that sell true, true red. Um, you'll get like a pinkish red, but she most definitely has a true red. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a very thin trace. You know, guys, it's so funny. Like when I don't soak for like a week or two. I seem to forget because <laughs> I've just been oh my god it took me probably like um what, like two hours just to prepare to make this soap my god I don't know I just lose it I should make soap on a weekly basis but when I don't I tell you I forget everything all right I think that's good enough and I'm going to mix it some more once I put my colorants in. So I'll give that a little scrape. And hopefully I got enough containers and bowls and all the stuff that I need. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. And I just want to say, guys, Diana and um Dollface, you guys are so awesome because they've started giving shout outs too on their channel and I think that is just so amazing that you all have picked that up and started doing it yourselves just because you know it's it's amazing it's kind of like a pay it for you know especially when you're first starting to make soaps and you're doing YouTube and you want to get your subscriber base up and that's just a great way for us to help out each other you know, the soaping community is just awesome for looking out for one another. And I just think it's so awesome for you guys to do that. And once again, those of you who have soaping channels, please most certainly do let me know the name of your company. I do have a list that I am going to, um, of people that I'm going to give shout outs to. So every video that I make, I was going to do several in one video, but I kind of want to give everybody their own individual shout out. So, um, hopefully, how much, oh, that's my base. Um, 
yeah most definitely let me know the name of your channel and i will certainly give you a shout out because guess what you deserve it i mean if you put in that much effort of making soaps and uh filming it people should know about you you know um i just think that's just a great great thing for all of us honestly absolutely all of us because that's the reason why we make videos for people to watch so let me shut up for a second so i can remember what i'm supposed to be doing here <laughs> Okay, so I got, I know most is going to be my white, and then I got some yellow, and some pink, and some red, and some, and some, do I have too many containers here? No, okay. <laughs> so, you already saw me put my titanium, well, my titanium dioxide was already mixed in my bowl, and this is um, Fandango Pink from Nurture Soap. And uh, this one is my my red from, isn't that pretty? That is a cool looking red. That's from New, New York Soap Supply Company. And I have some lemon mica from Nurture Soap right there. And um, I guess that's it. And I'm going to do some embeds as well. So... I'm going to go ahead and get these colors mixed in. I'm not going to film that. Like I said, you guys have seen me do that many, many times in other videos. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back and I got my red. I wanted more like a, like a cherry red, not dark red. So this is good. And I do know, well, I've heard, I've never actually used a red before, but I know it uh, accelerates trace a little bit, but this is just fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I have no complaints about that. And I think I made a boo-boo because I'm lazy as hell. <laughs> Um, I didn't, um, what is that? Oh, an air bubble. I didn't, um, I had to add some more TV to my, my soap base here to make it white. And, um, I didn't mix it. I just poured it in there. I know a lot of you have great luck with just dumping your colorants without mixing them with glycerin or soap base or whatever. And you get the color you want without, uh, spots. But I do know that I'm going to have some TD spots in this because I can see them. And I don't want to over mix because I don't want it to be like super thick and then my colors don't break through it. So with that being said, that's that. And then I have my pink here, which I'm okay with that color because I kind of wanted to match my embeds. My embeds are pink. And then I have my awesome yellow, which is here. All right, so now I'm going to try not to make a bigger mess, which I've already made because I just threw water everywhere when I was cleaning my stick blender. And I'm going to add my fragrance oil, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully this stuff doesn't accelerate trace. And I tried to find some information on their site, but it didn't have any soon. <coughs> Um, let me see if I can get everything in here. Nope. All right. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to start with my yellow first. And I think maybe I'm just going to put a little in the yellow and wait a few minutes and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's probably the smartest thing to do since I don't test my fragrance oils. So, I'm going to continue to hand stir, um my titanium my titanium dioxide my white and uh see what happens there so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out wait a few minutes because it doesn't take long for uh soaps to accelerate or turn to soap on a stick not at all so i'm just gonna see what i get with that and then i'll i will know whether or not i should put this in the rest and i know like i said their fragrance oils are always awesome i only had the one problem with the cherry blossom and that's what has me a little bit leery because this does have cherry fragrance in it. So I'm just not wanting any issues. Oh gosh, my mom's calling. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. And hopefully then I'll know if this uh, fragrance is going to okay, accelerate. Okay, so um, it's been a few minutes. And since I put my fragrance oil in and it's working perfect. So, woo, thank God. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, add it to my... This can't, oh Jesus, I can't wait till I get a new tripod. This stinks. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add to my white just a little bit, just in case it discolors. And there, if it discolors, oh well. All right, so that is owl, my fragrance owl. 
and right now I'm just very very pleased with the way everything is behaving okay so go ahead and get those stirred in I'm going to use my whisk and that just loosened everything up nicely so yay and hopefully I can get a uh, that TD mixed in pretty well when I have any TD spots because those just ruin us so big. <laughs> it's like when I watched my review that Katie did on my soap company for my dance of the candy cane and I saw all those TD spots. I'm like, I don't know. I just wanted to like take it, take it from her. I'm like, oh no, 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 don't do a review on that one. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> so <laughs> all right, let me get this stirred in. But yeah, guys, I, I think I mentioned in my little haul video that I did get a um a soap cutter. I got the single wire soap cutter just because I kind of like the whole cutting one at a time. And then two, I discovered that uh, a wire cutter works beautifully with soap cakes. So um, I wanted to get that, you know, uh, just for that purpose. And I, I think eventually I will end up getting um, a multi cutter. But right now I think the single cutter will do just fine by me. So can't wait for that. No more crooked soaps. Yay! Um, and I got a couple of moles. Um, once I get the moles, because it's an Etsy shop, and I want to give that person not only just soapers, but this driver, this this camera angle is like seriously driving me nuts. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, I think I just made it worse. Yeah, I just made it worse. <laughs> oh hell. Well, okay, um, I'll just keep moving stuff around. But uh, not only, you know, soapers for et um, Etienne's, as, as we like to call them, uh, I want to give them business too. So once I get my soap molds, these are like the, um, I don't know what they're called. They're like the PVC piping type material. I know it's our sort of H. I can't think of it right off the top of my head, but uh, they're collapsible. You don't have to line them. And they had an amazing price on it. They were two. They had all different sizes. I normally work with uh, three pound loaves like those I believe I got the four pound loaves I got two for fifty four dollars so not bad and then they had um, the three pound and the four pound were the same price and then they also had um, let me think what am I trying to say oh they also offer like a eight pound loaf two eight pound loaves and a soap cutter not the wire cutter but like the miter box type cutter they offer that for seventy four dollars so once I get those they should be here next week once I get those I will do a review and let you guys know what I think okay and I did order another uh, silicone loaf mold yeah yeah that's correct <laughs> from Essential Depot and with the basket so say bye bye to my grody box <laughs> it is time for that thing to go to its grave it should have been let go and released off to be in the um, compost pile or recycling pile or wherever it goes <laughs> a long time ago so all right so uh let's get my ugly box in view which is there and i really need to change this camera angle so let me move you guys in like this way that way i'm not pouring soap everywhere more than i do all right yeah this fragrance is totes amaze balls and it's so funny because i told you guys my mom had just called and she called to tell me that she's like, I am in love. I said, why? And she was like, with the cherry lemonade, oh my God, it's my favorite fragrance. I am in love. And she have not even made soap. She just likes the way it smells. So yeah, that is a must have. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour my cream color since it is not white. And I am not putting any more TD in here. I really don't know what design I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of wing it <laughs> and see what I get. All right. So I know I'm not going to pour all of it. All right. Yeah, this is behaving beautifully. I just love how my soaps behave. I mean, it's funny because ever since I did the hot process whip soap, um, I don't look, <laughs> that's terrible, I don't want to jinx myself. I don't look forward to them like turning to crap on me. <laughs> but if they do, I just know that I can save them. So I'm not really concerned about 
uh, soap seizing and things like that anymore because that whip soap is beautiful absolutely beautiful all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this from high and hopefully I don't pour it on my camera that's always a fear of mine okay so Ugh. glasses are not uh, sliding off my nose Yeah, I really like this already. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep repeating until I'm all out that way. I can have color throughout the entire bar. And then I think my next color is going to be yellow because I want to break up that red. I wouldn't put the pink in there, but man, this smells fab. Fably ably. Totally. All right, let me just do a little bit of scraping and then I'll get that in there. And one of my subscribers, so funny, um, she said about my uh, whip soap, because honestly, and let me know if you guys have seen it before, because I've never seen it, where uh, you do a hot process and then whip your soap. Um, and I've looked at many rebatch videos, and I've never come across it. So one of my subscribers said that it's going to become the Kenny Method, <laughs> which I think is like super funny, but that's cool. Um, and actually... <laughs> We're probably going to have to call it Kenny's mom method because she was the one who suggested I whip it. So uh, kudos go out to Mumsy who doesn't make soap. <laughs> but she's getting there slowly but surely. All right. So I do love that that method of uh, rebatch. Love it, love it, love it. Just because rebatch soaps to me, well, for me, without whipping them, they're pretty damn ugly. <laughs> but uh, now that I've learned to whip them, they look so much nicer. And they're smoother and they're just much easier to deal with. So, super happy about that. I think I'm going to like these colors a lot. They look kind of tropical. Like a plumeria flower or something of the sort. But um, this fragrance is just, I know I keep saying it, but it is totes amaze balls, guys. Super duper totes amaze balls. Loving it. Alright. Um, I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, let's get some of my white in there. Yeah, I should get a lot more of this white. I'm going to end up with too much white. And then, I um, I like flowers. I like planting flowers in the summer. Well, I planted a bunch um, last summer, last spring. Let me say last spring. And uh, I did get, I planted hydrangeas and hibiscus and uh, what else? Twinkle toes and gladiolas and 15,000 other more. <laughs> Uh, I get these um, plant books sent to my house or magazines or seeds or bulbs, whatever they are. But it's where you buy your bulbs and all that stuff for your flowers. And I was looking through it and everything to me, if you're a soaper, I'm sure you know what I mean. But everything is inspiration for soap. And I was just looking at it before I started to make this soap. And man, they got some beautiful, beautiful flowers in there. And I am going to utilize that book. Not for buying any more flowers because my daughter said, you're going to be one of those people that have like so many flowers in their yard, you're not going to be able to see your house. <laughs> uh, shut up, hunters. <laughs> but um, she might be right. But no, I, I said I wasn't going to buy any more this year, so I'm going to behave myself. Well, yeah, that's my spatula. But I will most certainly be using those books for color inspiration for my soap. I told you guys, you can get color inspirations from everywhere. I love Design C, but I don't use it very much just because, I don't know, I don't know. I really have to see, I well, honestly, I can't explain why it does, doesn't work for me. Sometimes it does. I've made some soaps that were gorgeous from Design C, I think, which was two. But I have to see like, like birds and uh, butterflies and things of that nature. That's what works for me. This is going to end up looking like my uh, tropical paradise, I think. Let me pour a little bit more so that way I'll just save the rest for the top. But man, this smells beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I really hate that I forgot to get uh, some more cherry blossom. Because I think if I just put a dash of it, not the same amount that I use for my cherry blossom soap, uh, I won't have to worry about seizing because I plan to use, and I know florals have a tendency of seizing too, but, uh, 
hopefully the hyacinth is going to work out lovely and i would really like to mix those two together and i think i have like a half ounce left of that cherry blossom because i didn't use it all so maybe i'll um mix those two together and see what happens hopefully nothing other than what i want to happen all right so i will bang this down at the very end when i get everything in here come on come on out of here these trickles are not really working for me i wanted to break through this red but come on hmm. well okay so yeah that's not going to do what i wanted to do but whatever so let's see i keep i'm trying to figure out which are my spatulas and i think at this point it really doesn't matter so yeah it doesn't matter i'm at the end oh this smells great absolutely great and i think because i have so much um red and yellow right there i need to put a little bit more of my white just to kind of break up those colors so it's not too matchy matchy just a little bit and i know i should not even attempt to pour my left hand because i'm just asking to pour half my batter on the table so <laughs> let me switch hands all right let's see yeah I think that was a smart move because I was just oh, okay stop 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 <laughs> I was getting a little excited there <laughs> but um yeah and I had too much white left anyway I kind of I kind of like Ooh, it's hard for me not to swirl like I told you guys you guys know I am super duper obsessed with swirling soaps so I kind of don't want to um uh, swirl this one and I think I won't just because I want to see what this drop swirl is going to come out like just because I don't do, I mean, I do drop swirls, pretty much all of my soaps I do drop swirls, but I take my uh, little um, swirling stick and go nuts. So I'm not, I promise myself, and I know I've said that in many videos, and you see me swirling like it, my life depended on it, <laughs> but this time I swear I won't. I just want to see what this is going to turn out like, because I'm kind of excited. I do like these colors a lot, and I think I should just leave it alone. So I'm going to learn to stop swirling stuff. Alright, so let's get this pink in there. I am kind of loving this. And I feel like I'm going to get more swirls on this end. Um, and not this end. Just because it seems like when I get to this point, it's like it's trickling. But that's okay because all of your bars are not going to come out even anyway. Now that I've use most of my white I don't know where I'm going <laughs> um because I do have quite a bit of yellow left and I don't want to put all that on top <clears throat> well not that much but more than I would like so maybe I'll just kind of go with putting some more yellow in there and I'm going to try to do some re um rebatching <laughs> some master batching tonight uh because i just love it i just love master batching that way when you are ready to soap you just soap you don't have to mix oils i mean weigh out oils and all of that stuff everything's already done and waiting on you i'm going to start at this end not that it matters at this point nope nope does not matter else. <laughs> all right so i bought some hoba beads too from uh new york soap I'm saying it right new york soap supply company or soap making supply company i however i'm not sure if it's soap making or soaps i should know this jesus jen sorry forgive me um <clears throat> but i will put in the link below with the proper name of it and stop mucking up the name of her company <laughs> uh i do believe it's new york soap supply company um but i got some hoba beads from her and she has great prices on her stuff so you guys really need to go check her out and because she is a small business owner we want to support other small business owners you know because we are the ones who need it more than these big companies uh with getting our businesses up and running so most definitely go and support her and you'll be very very pleased with what you get from her anyway so it's a win-win for everybody now this card here i don't know i think i'm gonna swirl this <laughs> Because I don't necessarily like how it's just kind of frizzling on the top. And now I'm going to stop. And then I'll just uh, spoon on the rest. 
Yeah, I'll just spoon on the rest. Okay, so I'm going to get my white in there. What's left? No, I should probably bang this down before I go and do that. So All I'll right, be back. Guys. I am back, and um, I banged it down. Didn't clean up the sides just because I already know I'm going to end up making a mess again. So there is no purpose in doing that. All right, so now I am going to get the rest of my white on here. I just love soaps with white base, but I have discovered some new ideas. And I'm going to make some soaps that do not have white bases. And um, I think they're going to turn out really, really pretty. Just because I tell you guys about that uh, book with the flowers in it. Man, some gorgeous flowers in there with some amazing colors. So I am going to give that a go. And uh, I think they're going to turn out pretty cool looking. So, alright, so I put that. And I think I'm going to put... Mm, yeah, doing the same order that I already did. So my red is next. And yeah, I heard that red accelerates. So kudos to Jen. Sweetness. Um, her red does not. Um, it's just as fluid as the rest of them. You know, it was a little stiff at first. But when I put my fragrance oils in it, it just loosened right up. So it is just the same as everything else. So super duper happy about that. Oh my god, and since I've gone to Southern Sensations, I'm just like in love with that place and I want to drive up there every single day and then I would be broke and then I would just lose my house. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, bad idea, I'm not going to do that, but thankfully it's an hour away and I absolutely loathe driving, so I don't see myself going there a whole lot. Maybe twice a year I think that is good enough and that is all I need. I don't need to go there any more than that and if I do then I'm just being ridiculous. And, um, but they, the ladies there are super duper nice. Oh, they're so sweet. Very, very helpful. And it was so funny because when we got there, there were barely any people in there. But after a while, because it's not a big store. But once we got there and, ooh, I almost threw some, I think, soap up on the ceiling. Once we got there, I mean, uh, maybe about 20 minutes later, 20, 30 minutes later, it was so many people in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she said during the week, um they mostly have online sales and then on the weekends is when they get the, they're the busiest because they close at three o'clock so all right yes yeah, so it was crazy busy in there and like i said it was two women there and they are amazing and i should have gotten their names because i would like to give them shout outs because they were very very helpful very sweet and i do like them a lot and i'm so glad that i got a chance to meet them because it's good to know who you're buying stuff from so, and I been, eventually, in the next year, I uh, will, after Hunter goes to college, my plans uh, are to move to South Carolina. And this has been in the making for about five years. So, I will be moving to South Carolina. And uh, hopefully, I'll find some um, cool fragrance oil suppliers in that area. I do think there are a few. But before I do that, I am going to take the drive to uh, Nature's Garden and Nurture Soap Supply. Um, just to go and pay them a visit and go nuts just because I can't help myself so and yeah I I still have too much yellow jeez really didn't want that much yellow but I did save a little bit of white but it will work it's so sunny oh I love this love 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 love, love it and I thought about putting some green and once again I wish this was live because I'd like to ask you guys opinions and it doesn't really seem to serve a purpose after the fact <laughs> But I would like to put some green on here just to uh, represent the leaves um, of um, lemonade, lemons, lemons, yeah, the leaves of lemons. But I think, I don't know, it just still might work. So I might just do, uh, I'm not talking about doing like like this, but uh, a micro drizzle. But then I'm going to do the red jojoba beads. So hopefully, and darn it, I should have put those in my white too late but uh, <laughs> um i got mail <laughs> but um what am i saying oh i think that if i do put it it will end up looking christmasy so i don't know i'm gonna wait and see what happens after that and celine blaco of um i am handmade she gets her darn containers i mean there's like not a drop of soap left in those bad boys when she's done scraping them I got all this going on and I'm still scraping and I don't want to take too long. 
So I'm going to go ahead and give it one more scrape and let that be that. But this container is huge. All right. So that is it. That is it. Stop scraping. Can you? You're not. Can, can, uh, you're not going to get any more out of here. So. Oh, I'm short of spatula. All right. I'll do this one. All right. So can I give that a drizzle? I really like these colors together, and I do believe it is going to come uh, t uh, look a lot like my tropical paradise. So just different colors, but I think the whole. Um, Oh, geez. I don't know what's been wrong with me like the past week. Not the past week, but this weekend. Can't seem to remember what the heck I'm supposed to be saying here. It's going to be the same um, color scheme. Not color. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's going to end up being very similar. So let me just say that. But um, I do believe I'm going to like it lots, lots, lots. And I do like this pink. I sure will do. So... Try to scrape all I can out of there. And I think. No. No, I'm not. Because once I use my spoon or whatever I am going to use to do peaks, it'll bring the colors up from underneath on top. I was going to um, put all. Save a little bit of pink for the top, but I'm not going to. Okay. Alright, a little bit more. I should probably like fast forward through the scraping part because <laughs> I am so slow at this. Okay. And I've had a couple of you tell me that when I'm talking in my videos, it makes you feel like I am talking to you. That is so awesome. So awesome. I just, I love talking. I'm sure you guys know that, but <laughs> that, that makes me feel great for you to feel like that. I am speaking to you only. Because I want you all to feel like, you know, we know each other. Like, we're really great friends. And it, I do feel like I'm sitting down talking to a longtime friend. So, that just means so much to me. And I remember before I started making videos, um, you know, you have some soapers who do very uh, technical. And I am just not one of those people. I'm a disaster. <laughs> So I wasn't going to try to do that and I mean it works for them but for me I knew it wasn't going to you know I'm just not that's not me I am me and I like to talk and I like to have fun so just to know that you I am coming off as a very personal person which I am it is showing my true personality and that just makes me super duper happy that you guys feel that way about me so big hugs and kisses to you all because you all are great I just I, I honestly even though I know there's no one here and I'm not crazy <laughs> but I do feel like all of you are sitting around me and I'm just chatting up a storm with my friends because like I said you guys are my friends and I love every single one of you I truly do I mean that from the bottom of my heart I love you all so much just because you're stinking awesome you really are so okay I'm done scraping the hell out of this bowl if I don't stop scraping I'm going to start to scrape the plastic off the bowl so <laughs> I think this is, um, I think it might hold its own weight if I um, start to do my peaks. So, let's see. And, as always, I have no spoon. <laughs> so, I am going to look for something to use. <laughs> I don't have anything in here because I sort of cleaned up. Oh, yeah, I did say that I was going to clean my sewing room. I kind of cleaned up. <laughs> Not much, so don't tell my mother. <laughs> Because she was trying to get me to clean it up yesterday. And I'm like, no. So, <laughs> and it was late. And we had been out all day. And that was the last thing I wanted to do. So, I told her I would clean it today. And, of course, she doesn't care. It's my room. But it did need to be cleaned. It was kind of a disaster in here. So, um, sorry, Mumsy. Did not clean my room. But, um, I think I'm going to use this butter knife. I think it'll do what I want it to do. Alright, so... <clears throat> No, I want to use a spoon. I'll be back, guys. Okay, my lovelies. I am back, and I have a spoon. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that's looking like. But, oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Because it's still a little bit, um, fluid, but it'll work. So, 
I just wish, yeah, let me move some of that over. It's all kind of clumped up in the top. And then I'll push it right back where I just got it from. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> but I just felt like I should do that. So I've never really mastered this whole spoon thing. Because some of you just make it look so damn easy. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just like slopping soap around. But I don't know. Some things some can do, some things others cannot do, and I am one of those of us who cannot do. <laughs> so, um, especially like this. Who's breaking in my soap and room? Hunter. <laughs> Hunter's breaking in. Um, can you get the door open? Just turn the handle. What's wrong with turn you? the handle. Oh. Yeah, that's how you normally get in the room. You turn the handle. Hi, guys. <laughs> it smells really good in here. <laughs> What's up, kiddo? Um, well looking at yourself oh cool it's pretty isn't it pretty it looks like peachy yeah it's a uh, pink yellow red and white but the other colors are underneath I'm going to put some jojoba beads on top some what jojoba beads jojoba jojoba beads jojoba yes okay I think that's all I'm gonna do guys um I'm sorry, one sec. Somebody's whispering in my ear while I'm filming. Yeah? What? <laughs> Can we go to somebody while <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Be careful and come back in one piece. Don't stay gone too long. Yeah. Okay. Teenagers want to use your car. Mm. But, um. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do there because I do like the way that looks. I don't think I need to do anything else there because I do have some, um. Some little fruit slices that I made I don't know what type of fruit this is <laughs> but it is a fruit slice so I have these little buggies aren't they cute okay so I'm going to slap those on there and I probably should have uh, yeah I probably should have measured this that way I know where the heck I'm putting them and I'm not cutting myself all wonky as usual that's nothing new so I do have little markers on here but they're so faded I think I can see them Okay, let's see. I am just like, I freak out, you know, because Hunter, she's driving now, and I don't know, she's an excellent driver, and I do trust her behind the wheel, but it's just like, I feel better when I'm in the car with her, because <laughs> I can kind of see her, but actually, my um, adopted son, Trevor, is going to drive, and he has his license, so, and so does Hunter, but still, you know, she's he's been driving longer than her. Yeah, those are so stinking cute. I should probably move that one over. Um, yeah, I I love this soap. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Really, really cute. I love these colors. These colors turned out really, really nice. Let's see. And someone suggested I do a tutorial on how to make these. They're really easy to make. Um. And I just might do that. Uh, I'm not going to start doing a ton of tutorials. But if you guys ask me, I most definitely will show you how I do things. I don't have a problem with that at all. So, let me stick that right there. I think I moved that one over too far. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, whoops. We got two sticking together there. And now I'll be cutting them um, exactly the same with nope never will do that not ever so because <laughs> i freehand cut them and now i'm looking at the camera and i can see like a lot of these are crooked but i don't think anybody really gives a damn except for me <laughs> so i should probably just go ahead and get the rest of these in here yeah i'm going to go ahead and buy uh, a ton of this cherry lemonade because it smells so stinking amaze balls oh so good so so good i think this has become my favorite yes all right, so, and I have others left over, which I'm not going to do anything with those. Because I think it's just dainty, just like this. And, yeah, I was supposed to put my jojoba beads on here. Dum, dum, dum. And the reason why I want to do that, I'm still going to put a little bit. is so it can kind of represent the cherry in the lemonade. Um, and I know I put red in here, but still. Now if I can get my gosh darn glove off, I can probably do that. Now, that is 
super duper duper cute. Love it. Okay, Whew. I'm about to pass out, guys. It is getting kind of warm in here. Okay. Go ahead and open those. And yeah, these I got, like I said, from Jen as well. And um, she has excellent prices on her stuff. So guys, you really should go check her out at New York Soap uh, Supply just because... You get some great deals. Really, really great deals. Now let me see if I can get my fingers in here. Oh. <laughs> I've never actually felt these before. Those are kind of fun to hold on to. Oh, And I am putting clumpers. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Maybe because my fingers were kind of sticky. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that works. Can't break up the clumps, but now that i gotten them to disperse a little bit, I didn't want to put a whole lot on there, so that works. Okay, let's see, I got a few more sticking to my fingers. All right, so, um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do because I don't want to be like overkill. And I am going to do a dash of glitter just because. You know me, <laughs> me and glitter, we are besties. Yes, BFFs forever. So, <laughs> so I'm going to add just a teensy bit, not too much. And maybe I'll just do that with my fingers too, just because I want just a dash, nothing crazy. Oh, yeah, the fan. So I can get closer because the fan is blowing it all over the place. All right. And that is all I'm going to do for this boogie. Yes, that is it. And I love it. Yes, I do. Okay. It's just like those clumps of jojoba. <laughs> I got glitter everywhere. Those clumps of jojoba bee is just like driving me batty. So let me see if I can get uh, a skewer and poke them around a little bit. Or not. Yeah, let's go with, well, yeah, I think I can break them up a little bit. Yeah. No, I don't like the clumpies. Not at all. Okay. You guys don't really want to watch me doing this, so I will do this off camera. <laughs> so that is it. And this is my cherry lemonade soap, and it smells so good. Let's see if I can pick that up. All right. So, yeah, here we go. That is my cherry lemonade and it smells amazing. So that is it for now, you all. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching Royal Appleberry once again and supporting me and just being so great to me. And I just can't thank you enough. And I'll never stop thanking you because you all are just so awesome. So until next time, my lovelies, this is Kenny the Messy Soper and I'll see you later. Bye.